Okay, for those that don't know, I'm leaving coals in two days. My last shift will be Friday. And uh, who rear the coals? Oh, I'll tell you what, there's many culminating factors to why I'm leaving coals. Plenty of contributing factors. Um, I think the main two of them would be this, right? I don't have my work life mix is fucking, it's not balanced. I go to bed at five in the afternoon, which I'm fucking sick of. I've just had a gut full of doing that. I um, get up at midnight and start work at three. Now, before you even at me about that, that's just my time to go to sleep. That's just what I do. You, If you want to do it differently, then you fucking do it your way. Um, so there's that, there's that. Uh, number one, number two, I'd have to say would be management. It's the, the management are off their tap, mate. Just, I cannot even deal with them some mornings. I just, just, just moronic. But I mean, there's there's plenty more than, than that. But I mean, that'd be the two culminating factors. I'll tell you what else I take umbrage with. With and it's what just happened now at work. See, I've got a set production that I've got to make each day. I don't go to work and it's a production. Don't even get me started about how big the fucking production is. It, it's massive. If you go to Woolworths to work, there's two bakers on the bench doing the job. I know it. I've seen it. All the mates fucking tell me. Here at uh, Coles, it's just me. It's just me. Here, do this production, get it done, and see you later. Some days I can do up to 300 kilos in white flour by my fucking self with machinery that's second grade machinery it's the fucking pox it's machinery that doesn't even work properly and you just have to get it done and nobody's there to help you don't get no assistance no help no no nothing from anybody right so this morning like many mornings because I'm quick at what I do and because I, I know what I'm doing I get done I get done early so today for instance I, I was done at I knocked off at 11 and I was pretty much all done and dusted mate everything was wrapped up at, at 10 to 11 and then she says oh before you go can you just start doing some flatbreads now don't get me wrong I'm not against helping anybody lending assistance that's not my gripe my gripe is this, I have to do my fucking production by myself. Nobody helps me. That's my job. I have to do that. I don't have an option. But the thing is that I get it done uh, quickly so that it's finished. If I'm not done quickly and I'm over time, I'm asked, oh, well, you're going over time there, mate. Oh, what's going on? Or oh, something, rah, rah, rah. So you either are over or you're a little bit under. Very, very rarely will you be on time. The point is, if you get it done early enough, then you're just lumbered with more bullshit jobs you've got to do. You've got to help this person or that person so they can complete their jobs. It's just unfair and it's unusual and it's, it's ridiculous. And the, the expectation that you'll just jump in and help because, oh, you've got five minutes up your sleeve. You finished five minutes early, did you? Oh, I'll give you something to do. You can go over and do this A, B and C. The expectation that that will be done is fucking mind-boggling. It's just mind-boggling. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to shutting the door on this section of my working life. There'll be no more coals, and I really highly doubt, even doubt there's going to be any more baking. I mean, I, I might go back to baking one day, and I, I probably will. But it'll be under different circumstances. It'll be none of this 3 o'clock in the morning bullshit. Finishing at 11. 11.30s. Like, what do you mean, cuz? Half the day is gone working. You want me to be a baker? The whole point of being a baker is that you get your bread out early in the morning so that the punters and the dribblers can get their bread early. You want that fresh bread? Who wants to go get a fresh loaf of bread at fucking half past four in the afternoon? Who wants to see bread coming out of an oven at fucking midday? It's it's just moronic. I'll tell you what, it's just, it does my absolute fucking head in. So if I ever do go back to baking, it'll be a bit more reasonable hours like I used to do at Brumbies, which was nine, nine o'clock at night till four in the morning. That's fine, I've got the entire day, I can structure my day around, I can do things. It just makes sense. 
But right now, my work-life balance, that's the, that's the thing I was trying to say at the start of this video. My work-life balance is shit. I don't like it. I'm sick of it. <sighs> anyway, it is what it is. I just wanted to make that pointed and poignant video and get that off my chest. As for now, two days left to go. Thank fuck for that, and then I'll be shutting the door on it. Ciao.